You catch cold in Japan. Does it sound it? I thought you might be coming off the tail end of something. Lost some weight as well. Did you find what you were looking for, the mysterious ashy prick? <laughs> Prickly ash. Oh, yes, yeah, sorry. It was the reason the fellow invited you to Japan, wasn't it? Dig up a pile of the stuff, smuggle it home. Can't interfere with anything you've prescribed. And surely it can't do me ill. In and of itself, no. Oh, you mean there might be side effects? Perhaps. Such as? Hope. What was the name of the fellow who invited you to Japan? You just spent a week with the man. Corresponded with him for months. Do you recall his name? There's a flat adjacent to my surgery that's gone to let. No! What happens when you don't recall where the telephone is or you forget to turn off the gas? You can't live alone. I don't live alone. I have the housekeeper. Take this diary. Each day you don't recall a name or place, make a mark on the page for that day's date. And if I forget to make the mark? So the smoke knocked him out. Could have done. Most likely he stood up too quickly and lost consciousness. It isn't the first time. The last housekeeper didn't know what to do. He must have decided to take it subcutaneously. Mrs. Munro, Roger's awake. <laughs>